Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this will be part three of my lathe restoration thing. Um, uh, it's hardly a restoration, but like clean up and put back together. Uh, in this episode, I'd like to I'd like to get it cleaned up and put back together um, because I'm sick of cleaning. Uh, and then maybe at the end we might have a look at the tool post. But then I've also got this to look at, and this is a genuine suds pump from a student. Um, it's got this, see this factory, um, factory gasket, look how good that is. So we've got this to go through as well, so yeah, there's loads to get on with, so without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I've taken the cover off, the, um, the oil level is just below the sight glass, so it's a little bit low, but other than just being old, it doesn't doesn't look too bad, doesn't look like there's a lot of water in there or anything. The drain plug is just there, a little square plug. So I'm going to drain it out and then um, I'll put some new oil in. That's the top plate as well, I'll clean this all out. just wanted to show this pan that I've got. The, um, there's only three litres in the, in the lathe so it should all go in there but it just fits under things perfectly. It's so handy having small pans like this. So I've re-drained the oil again now, as I said I would. The um, Because I put a little bit too much in there this time, the pan is full and the like that plate right there is stopping me from getting it out. So I'm going to use um, just a little cup thing and scoop it, some of it out so I can drain that. And then the last little bit I'll drain out. I'll probably take the cover off again just to make sure it's all clean. But yeah, it's no good. I'll put fresh oil in and then the oil's done and I can get on with something else. So as you can see I've taken off the drive gear for the, or the change wheel for the lead screw. There's a couple of spaces in that and then there's this one here which has got a little grub screw in and it's on a threaded shaft. So I take those off and then these two nuts here um, and then I'm hoping that top lead screw will slide out, but I'll see. I'm sort of working this out as I go along. So I just wanted to say about this change gear that I've just noticed. I saw the two gears here, but I wasn't sure how they changed between them. I also saw these holes here, uh, and there were, I was expecting grub screws, but there, there isn't. But what I then noticed was um, it kind of looked like this would slide. So. Not it's hard doing it with one hand, but there you go, it slides across. Obviously that will probably change the speed there. Uh, the sort of traversing speed, but something that I'll work out once it's, uh, once it's back together. So I've got the lead screw free now. These two nuts down there, they're the wrong way around, it should be that way. But that's how, it, that's how it was set up, if you remember in the last sh clip. Um, the two nuts, they come off and then you've got that sleeve. That sleeve is quite difficult to get off. Um, and the, an error I made was that I thought that was um, press fit on there, just as a straight sleeve. But there was a keyway that's cut through this, through this bush here. It's cut through that and into the lead screw. And I didn't realise that, so I sort of struggled for ages with it. But all you need to do is take that shaft off, and then you can pull the uh, yeah, take that sorry that bush off there. You can pull the keyway out, which then allows you to slide the uh, screw through the shaft uh, through the bush. So yeah, and um, I had to use my copper hammer there because it's quite tight fit through that sh that. That bush there is quite a tight fit through it, so I put the the screw on for the I put the nut sort of thing on for the change wheels on the back and just tapped it out. So now the lead screw's out. I've got this bottom one which I can't remember the name of, and the way if you there's a sort of collar here which has got a grub screw in it, as you can see, you undo that, and then it all should slide to the right. Um, 
and then these should come off the end there, the gears should come off the end. So the final part of the saddle removal is you put some timber underneath, that's 2x2 two two or 50x50. 50 50. Um, so I've put that under there, I've unbolted, there's four bolts, one, two, th three, four I think it was. Uh, you undo those four there and it just sits down so now it's just sat on its own weight on top of those timbers and I can slide the top plate off well I'll probably have to lower that down a little bit first I should lower the, um, the gearbox down a bit but I lower that down, slide the top plate off and then it's all free and I can clean it up and then we can reassemble it so I'll show you the next step so the gearbox drops down as I said the top plate slides off just there at the tip of my finger there's a sort of retaining plate there to stop it from lifting so you have to drop the gearbox first before you can slide that off so now that's all off we can get on to cleaning it excuse the mess but this is the gearbox for the saddle the this bit here does the sort of directional whether it's in and out or side to side and yeah this is disgusting really it actually looks so much better than what it is, but it is quite bad actually, so I'm quite glad I'm taking it apart. So we'll take it all apart now and we'll clean this up. The saddle and all that is done now, or it's all clean. Um, there's a couple of little bits to do for the lead screw and sort of the assembly pieces, but the main of it is done now. It's not too bad. I'm not going mental, I'm just sort of cleaning it up, cleaning all the old grease out, re-oiling it and putting it all back together, so, um, and then new, new sort of oiling ports then as well, so, yes, yeah, looking really good. So that's the bed back on, or the top plate back on, the gearbox, the saddle gearbox back on. The it's just literally a case of sliding the bed back over. I've bolted the retaining plate on the at the back there, on with the two Allen bolts. Four Allen bolts hold this gearbox together, um, and it's really straightforward. Right now, I'm going to go and get the uh, the felt that the five mil felt that I bought, and I'm going to I'm going to make some new bed wipers or way wipers I think they're called um, I don't really fancy using those 3D printed ones that you see online so I'll make some proper ones um, I think it was Chris the Bodge on YouTube that did quite a good video on it so I, I saw his which gave me the inspiration to go and buy some material and cut my own ones out so that's what I'll do now and I'll fit the new Allen bolts that I bought which I think was 7 sixteenths UNC um, so I'll fit those and then we can put the lead screw in, uh, the top slide, and it'll basically finish it off then. So I just wanted to show this felt quickly. The um, I think Chris left the sticky back on, but I just thought I'd see how easy it was to peel it. And I, I, I was only after I'd cut the squares that I noticed it, but it's, it's quite easy to get under it. And once you've started peeling it, it peels really easily. So I would advise taking that off. Um, I think, uh, well, I think it will act as it should rather than be hindered on one surface. So, yeah, I would peel that off if I was you, if you were doing this same same uh, thing in the future. So most of the saddle's all back together now. I've just got that top, um, the top one to put back on and the old tool post for the time being and until I can make a new screw. But... Yeah, it looks it looks fantastic. I've got the tail the tail stock still to do, but yeah, that will be that will be for the next one, I think.
as you saw the pump's been stripped out or I stripped the pump down now the bearings aren't fantastic and the seal isn't great either so uh, I've got to get a couple of bits ordered uh, in the meantime I'll clean it all up and make a new gasket for the top this is also the top slide that hasn't been seen in many of the vids so um, yeah the that needs work doing to it um, well I just literally need to measure the new bolt that I need to make um, but the top slide itself is all cleaned up and put back together so as soon as I've got the the bolt drawing done I can put this back on and uh, we can make the bolt so that's the lathe all back together now the uh, I did the tail stock as well uh, off camera I uh, just put the change rules and bits on, nothing too sort of serious, nothing that was worth showing. Um, but yeah, it's all put back together, which is great. It all moves and functions really well. So I'm very happy with it. So that's the end of part three. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, on the next one, I'd like to have the motor completed. And I really need to get on and get that tool post done, which I've been putting off. So... I'd like to get that done as well uh, and then that would hopefully finish this whole series then. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, like and subscribe as usual and we'll see you on the next one.